What up beauty gang, so today I'm bringing you guys this overly hyped stocking cap method that's going on in the wig community right now. I feel like I'm going to get some heat for this because I do not agree with it at all. I don't F with it, I don't like it, but I'm going to show you guys a run through of why I've come to this opinion. So I put the stocking cap on my head, I'm going to use got to be glued gel to gel down the perimeter of the stocking cap. Supposedly you're supposed to kind of put it on your skin, maybe a little bit on your hair. Um, then I go ahead and blow dry it now it's gonna seem quick to you guys but let me tell you I was using that blow dryer for a good 20 30 minutes okay but that's beside the point when it finally dried these were my results I made sure it's completely dried there was no dampness whatsoever so then I go in with my scissors and I cut along the perimeter of the stocking cap basically everything that I gelled down should not lift up as you can see it isn't and I'm being very careful some people be playing with their edges okay it is not worth all that cut the stocking cap off if you do end up trying this but don't go like hard okay your edges are more important than that now these little like fuzzies here that you see hanging off I cut those very very carefully because you will see it through the lace of the wig and excuse me by the way you guys if you can tell that my voice is kind of messed up I'm sick as a dog but all right now I'm going in with my OMG hair going in like what am I talking about I'm gonna take the OMG hair out I will be giving hair details on this particular particular unit at the end of the video so be sure to stick around if you are interested but I plopped the wig on my head it is lace going all the way around the wig because it is a 360 wig now I am showing you how deep the parting is kind of playing with it a little bit and I realized although it's said to be pre-plucked I felt like it didn't look as natural as I would like so I went in and did a couple of plucks here and plucks there I honestly could have did more this wig was really really dense you guys but yeah I was just trying to see how would look then I decided to add foundation onto the front of that stocking cap because I've seen other people in other videos do that way for it to blend better <laughs> coming from a girl who's never worn foundation before but yeah so I tried that I was like okay it doesn't look too shabby so I went ahead and cut the lace off the wig I'm gonna run through this because I have tons of videos already on my channel of how to make a wig let alone cut the lace off one so yeah after I've done that I plop it back on my head and I'm just gonna see how it looks make sure it fits to my liking make sure none of that stocking cap is showing and in a couple seconds here you're gonna see that I do notice it is kind of sticking out <sighs> God, ugh, these low edges are the death of me, I swear. But I went ahead and peeled back a little bit of that and then cut it off because it was going to show if I placed the wig the way I want it. But yeah, now I'm applying the Got To Be Glue Gel, running through this too because I do already have a video on how to lay your lace front to wig. So if you're interested, go ahead and check that out after this video. All right, y'all. So I have secured the wig as much as I'd personally like. I will say I did pretty doggone good good with customizing this lace frontal wig without bleaching the knots like that's without bleaching the knots um but I'll touch on the hair in a second bottom line the stocking cap method I don't think it's for me I've tried it once without filming a video and then this is my second time attempting it filming it for you guys and I think it's BS honestly for a couple reasons one being the fact that it takes so long it's such a long process for it not to always turn out 100% and then two like I don't know if you guys can see this but like as I was starting to like gel the wig actually down to my head the stocking cap is still started to roll back like I don't know it's been dry for like a good hour so that was a mess and then like drying it in itself was like a 30 40 minute process I just think it's BS especially if you're a beginner with wigs or new to it or whatever I wouldn't suggest doing it I say just rock your normal stocking cap push it a little bit back behind your hairline and rock your wig like that put like concealer foundation in the part the old school way people wear wigs I feel like everybody's trying to do like I guess maybe what the celebrities do or what whoever does and it's not for everybody you know like I've seen wigs without this method that still look natural as hell so that's what I'm gonna stick to when it comes to wearing wigs like it looks decent but I don't know it's just not for me the process is so long for it to end up rolling back and because I have low edges, it really doesn't work for me. Like, 
it's just so much y'all I'm not really into it I wouldn't necessarily suggest it I've seen a lot of success stories but I definitely would say although you guys can't tell I think this is a fail definitely for me Wow, it like legit rolled back and it was dry. That's crazy. I'll give you guys a close up though. Okay. It doesn't look horrible, I guess. But look, okay, you can kind of see it right there. It rolled back. It was supposed to be right here. So that it would look like as natural as the rest of this. But it rolled back. And that took me a good hour or so. And I don't know if it started rolling back as I applied the got to be glue gel and it loosened it or if it was when I applied the foundation to help it blend a little bit better. But yeah, stocking cap method, I don't think it's for me. But onto this hair. This is from OMG Her Hair. This is a 360 frontal wig, so it can go in a bun or ponytail in the back. I didn't secure the back like that because I don't really wear wigs and ponytails. I actually like it like this a lot. It's a really, really pretty texture, actually. That's why I keep touching it. It does have decent parting space. So it can go all the way back to right here. Right there. It's a deep part. Like, you can definitely make a deep part with this wig. Now, it did say that it came with a pre-plucked hairline. You guys saw how it was when I took it out the box and put it on my head. I mean, it depends on what pre-plucked and natural looks like or means to you. I went ahead and plucked some more myself to make it a little bit less dense because it came very dense. So I had to thin that out a little bit for my liking. If you were cool with how it looked when I first took it out the box, good for you. I did not bleach the knot, so I really can't get over how, like, good this looks without bleaching the knots on this wig. I am really feeling this hair though. I probably end up making some like cute little baby hairs to make it look a lot more natural. I was thinking about actually flat ironing it but I actually like the curl pattern that it's giving off. Very like lazy latched. This hair is 150% density. It is in their Brazilian body wave texture. This is also the natural color of the wig but it can be dyed if you'd like. Their shipping is absolutely free worldwide so that is a plus. And to bring good spirits to the Christmas season they are having a sale right now. Their entire site. But it ends December 25th so you guys have till Monday to snag this wig or any of their other bomb wigs on their website. I will be sure to leave the link to this wig as well as their website in the description box below if you are interested. And they gave me a coupon code to give you guys which is Hafferkin10 and you get $10 off of any orders that are more than $100. So be sure to use my coupon code. Be sure to take advantage of their Christmas sale. Go ahead and flaunt yourself okay for the new year coming and we all about to slay honey. And yeah that is all I have for you guys. I know I keep touching the hair. It feels really good. I wish I could tell y'all how it smells. I can't really smell. My nose is really jacked. But I am going to throw some baby hairs up in here. Probably to try to hide that freaking cap that... Ugh, I'm not going to get into it. Stocking cap method ain't for me though. Okay? It ain't for me. But alright y'all. Until next time. Bye.